all around the Bay Area. They are streamed to live using some of the latest technology from LiveView. They are the pioneers of a technology called cellular bonding. This technology allows you, the streamer, to live stream from anywhere that has a cellular signal. Yeah, anywhere. LiveView gave us the perfect solution we needed. It's uh, very easy to use, very low cost solution. The goal of having LiveView involved was to try and bring part of the event to the public that the viewer had never ever seen before. They brought the technicians in, they brought the latest LE600 units in, it's a new HEVC standard. Hello everyone! Welcome to Hello. My name is Edwin Rogers and I'm here with my co-host Max Moore and the fabulous Claudia Barbiero. Thank you. And, uh, we are here and um, we're talking about LiveView. You got a, a little bit of a video introduction um, onto what LiveView does. Uh, but basically, LiveView is absolutely amazing for um, live production. They have revolutionized it. So I'll let um, Claudia tell us a little bit more about it. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So for people who aren't familiar with LiveView, uh, it essentially started uh, about 12 years ago as an alternative to using a satellite truck or a hard fiber line connection for broadcasters. So you can imagine if you're doing a breaking news story or there is a hurricane or uh, anything that needs immediate news from a remote location, the only way to broadcast that would have been to roll in a very large satellite truck, which is also very expensive, uh, or to run miles and miles of cable. You literally had to connect that camera to some way of transporting the video. Uh, we did that through some patented technology that bonds multiple cellular connections together. Over the years, that's gotten better, smaller. <laughs> uh, the cell uh, technology has gotten better. And uh, the technology has actually expanded beyond just broadcasters, just beyond just the news. And as you saw in some of that video clip, it's being used widely by sports, although right now, sadly, there's not a lot of sports happening, um, but by government, house of worship, education, and especially today, uh, we've been really active in helping a lot of other industries stay connected through live streaming just like this, uh, using that same technology that broadcasters use. Yes, and I know, um, I definitely know for a fact that so at NBC, for example, I think we had 30 live view patches for our, our department alone because it's it, it really is so important to have a um, <clears throat> a way to go live anywhere at any location at any time. And I think um, it's it's just a powerful device and uh, and just really really amazing. But one thing I uh, so, so me and you met at NAB. Mm -hmm. um, you, you were the first person to. Um, to fly me out to Vegas and 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 ha allow me to speak. Don't say that. Now everybody's going to want me to fly them uh, out to Vegas when they <laughs> back to normal. That's if I'm next. nothing happens ever again. It's over for, for forever. No more conferences. Right. But, but I think the conferences have to evolve. Like a lot of industries right now, they are getting you know pretty much a, a real wake up call that digital and making things more efficient, making things um, more virtual is actually really a important business um, yeah. use.